Hello, now I'm going to show you how can you implement the, um, the list course executions uh, page. So in the previous video, have been, we have seen how do we set up, uh, do the routing and go to the page. And in the page, we have seen all of these uh, header that says uh, courses uh, view. But now we are going to implement it, okay? And actually, you will be surprised how easy it is. Okay, and um, one of the reasons because of the good frameworks there are in terms of, uh, for instance, CSS. Uh, and uh, so we are using uh, Vuetify and uh, actually are using a Vuetify table. So you, if you look in the documentation and search for uh, search for table, It's there. We'll see information about how can you configure these tables and do very nice things. Okay. Basically, is uh, something like so. I, what I actually what is what I'm going to use is one of these tables. So, as you remember, you have this courses view here. Okay. And look, so the, the, the element has um, the object, the view object has two parts, the view itself and the contro controllers here. And the view is uh, very simple. So I defined a, a template. So it needs to be in a template. Then it, inside you have a V card. Okay. And this V card contains of type table. And this is already uh, Vutify. So when you are using the code, we are, you are in, we are including the, the Vutify uh, library at the beginning, so you can use it. And then we have this vData table, okay? It's Vutify, Vutify, and then you have all these parameters. So what are these parameters? These are the headers. So you're going to receive the headers to send the headers inside the table. What are the headers? So we define add headers as a data element here. I will show you what are in the headers. Then courses, which are the items. So this, this, this is a Vutify element, so it's going to receive, this is a V model, and they will receive the courses uh, items. What are the courses? We declared a courses variable here. It's an array of courses. Then it has a search. What is a search? A search is a string, because I'm going to write a string there, and it searches in the table according to the string I write, and again, is a V model goes inside the table, and these are parameters you use in the table. So these, so by looking at these, we'll find plenty of functionalities and possibilities here. Okay, so we have disabled pagination because you can have tables with pagination and default I default footer, uh, mobile breakpoint, multi sort. Multi sort is to allow to sort according to the different columns. Okay. And then inside you have this part that is basically only the element of the search. Okay, so let's let's show you the results so that you can see. So I'm here, not here. So I log in as demo demonstrator. Oh, it's enabled to contact the server. I guess that the server is down. Yes, sorry for that. Uh, wait a little bit, I'll back. So the server is running now. So let's go back there. So let's do the login here now. Uh, it's working now, okay. Uh, it's slow because I'm uh, recording. Sorry for that. Server too long, maybe. Now it'll be faster. Because there are, you, you can define delay. So, oh, that's a, something interesting. Sometimes it takes too long because basically the JavaScript, you, you, in the request, you say what is, you can define what is the deadline for the request. So, usually after one second, if you don't receive nothing from the server, it gives this error. If, if it takes longer, so now since my machine is slow, you just ask and the server took time to answer and then you got this. 
okay? But uh, you can define this value, okay? Then I have this, so manage courses, right? And here you have the table, okay? So this is the table, look. This is the search element, and these are the two courses that, that we are, are showing. Both are from the demo. I will show you why. Look at the search working. So if I, for instance, select uh, LC99, LC, only one is appearing there. So this is trivial, the way it is. So what I want to show you, the relation between this and um, the view. So this is the search box and this is the table itself, okay? So for the search box, this is the search box, okay? And then the table is automatic. Vitify does it for you. Why? It puts there the headers and the courses information. Where are the headers? Well, the headers is, are defined here. And if you look at this, I have name. Name is the name of the column. Sorry. Name is here. Okay. Name is going to be the value that is going to look inside the, the, the object. So what is the object? It is going to present an array of courses. So I should have in, inside object a name attribute, which is true. Because if I go look name there. So this is my object. Do you remember? This is the DTO that comes from the database. It's a DTO with the course. Okay? Uh, from the database, yes, but from the server, actually. Good? So I have the name, I have the course type. I can see the I can define if it has a line, the width of the column, acronym, the execution type. Course execution type, academic term, and the status, okay? And as you see, is actually what you have there. So what is missing here? Well, how do I get, how do you get the, the information from the database? I have two rows here, right? So it's easy. So look, I have this courses array here, and it's empty. But when this object is loaded, when it is created, I invoke this. And again, I do what maybe you now expect. What I'm going to do, I'm going to insert into courses. What? I invoke a remote service. Which is a remote service? Well, admin courses executions. And I invoke these on the other side. I get this data and I present it. So, to finish, what is in the other side? Because I have some novelty for you here. So when we have, look, admin courses execution, and if I go there, admin course execution. So this is the request from the, the, the client, and this is the server answering the request. So what I'm doing here, I, I, I've shown you this um, object already when we discussed the web server, but I change it. Why I change it? Look, I have two roles. Role admin and role demo admin. Why? Because I, I have this, just to test, I have this interface for the, the demo, okay? To, to have a demo of uh, the administrator. But now my problem is that if I do nothing, when we are playing with the administrator, we'll see that data that may be sensible. So we'll see how many courses are, being, are, are using the system. This is something that the administrator should see, but not the demo administrator. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing what I change. In the course executions, I receive the principal. This is Spring, just includes here. It's from the authentication. I go inside the principal and I get the user, this information about the user. And then if the user is not null, if everything is OK, what I'm going to do, what I, I do, I invoke get executions and send the, the role of the user. So what, is, what do I change here? So this is the part where I return the courses. If you remember, I just uh, go to the course executions repository, find all, and then I convert to DTOs. But before I filter, why well, I'm going to filter? If the user is admin, I just do not filter. 
So it's true for any course execution. But if the role is demo admin, it should be a course which name is demo course. So which name is this string. Look, I'm filtering it there. So, and as you may check, it's true. Look, if you go there, all the courses that are, all the course executions that are here are of the demo course. So I can test it and, uh, and it's okay. And so, having done it, I can just happily say that I finish this. So what I'm gonna do, I close this issue and I move it there. Okay? I've, I haven't finished the task, but that will be for another video. Okay, enjoy and bye.